All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. So happy Saturday. I hope you guys are all doing well. Lots of Cardano news here in this episode. We're going to be taking a look at Cardano's ADA price continues to push upwards as the Gogan upgrade approaches. Also taking a look at the recent whiteboard video from Charles Hoskinson, just going to be highlighting some key points that he had mentioned talking about decentralization and how Cardano's proof of stake is more secure and decentralized than Bitcoin's proof of work. And lastly, if you guys stick around till the very end, I'm going to be giving you all my thoughts on some price action. Here I've got pulled up an idea from TradingView and we're taking a look at some things here. So what can we anticipate? with the Cardano price coming up in the near future. All of that is going to be here in this video, so stay tuned. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. All right, everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me today. To start things off, if you guys do find some value from this video, please be sure to drop a like for me. It definitely does help out the channel. If you are new and if you want to stay updated with Cardano news and relevant information, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know exactly when I post a new video. If you do have any comments or questions about anything that we're talking about, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. So taking a look at this article, we're taking a look at Cointelegraph saying that ADA's price continues upwards as the Gogan upgrade approaches. So we haven't even seen Shelly launch on mainnet and we're already talking about Gogan. Uh, that's just to state you know, how quickly things are starting to move along right now with Cardano. Um, really incredible to see all the developments happening. As far as the next key milestone that we're anticipating, on July 29th we have the Shelly hard fork. Uh, which is where we're pretty much going to see all the transactions happening on the blockchain being transferred over from the Byron era over to the Shelly era. So really exciting. I know myself personally getting the stake pool up and running, really working hard and uh, it's coming along very well. So taking a look at this article saying that the recent price rally has demonstrated the faith the community and industry have in Cardano's roadmap, its vision and its founder, Charles Hoskinson. The project, however, is still in its nascent stages. There is still a lot for Cardano to prove in terms of executing its plans and gaining recognition among prominent entities like Ethereum. Ryan Fang, the co-founder and chief operations officer of Anchor, a firm that provides cloud solutions for blockchain applications, feels more confident in Cardano's proven abilities. Uh, he said in one of his recent talks that the price rally has been tremendous as it broke two resistance levels. We've been watching Cardano for more than a year with their development since the testnet until the mainnet. The network has emerged a lot and the price rally has proved the strong market sentiment of the project and the trust the community has got into the project. Very cool. Yes, so staking Shelly coming up very soon. You know, we've been talking about it now for quite a while and it's like it's almost surreal that the moment has finally come. Um, I know a lot of you guys feel that way as well. So continuing with the article, it's saying the price rally in 2020 went rampant after the announcement of the Shelly upgrade on May 25th and even further when Cardano began releasing the code for Shelly on July 7th. This upgrade is said to be unique because Cardano claims it will make the network from 50 to 100 times more decentralized than other prominent blockchains. It has also enabled staking to reach 1,000 stake pools. In contrast with Bitcoin's proof of work algorithm, Cardano runs on a proof of stake algorithm called Ouroboros. Proof of stake is a method that secures a decentralized blockchain network by allowing people who hold that blockchain's tokens to validate transactions and blocks. This process allows stakers to earn tokens, also known as block rewards, proportional to the amount staked. So he further went on to say that it's a very bold and challenging move to implement. Ethereum has been trying to do this since more than two to three years now. But Cardano being able to achieve the consensus protocol on proof of stake algorithm is commendable. Yes, absolutely. I completely agree. You know, if we talk about Ethereum and the comparison to that of Cardano, Ethereum right now is going through that transition phase. I like to think about it almost like having to repair 
a jet engine in mid-flight. You know, it's not the easiest thing to do. Ethereum already has so many applications that are actually built out using this protocol. And right now they're trying to transition their consensus method from proof of work over to proof of stake. So it's a huge undertaking. You know, right now they've got a network that has already got so much built on it. I think that with the future of Ethereum, not only are we talking about the future of Ethereum being able to successfully upgrade to a proof of stake, but I think we're also looking at it on a more broad spectrum, talking about all of these ERC20 tokens that are actually built on Ethereum. So really interesting to see, uh, you know, I'm definitely rooting for Ethereum. I want to see them succeed, but uh, seeing Cardano being able to successfully implement this right off the bat, uh, I tell you, it's going to be very advantageous for Cardano. And what we can expect from Cardano coming very soon is going to be Gogan. With Gogan, we'll be able to see smart contracts. Now, this is going to allow things like dApps to be built out on Cardano, similar to that of Ethereum. And we're going to have it built on a much more decentralized and scalable protocol. So very exciting. Let's take a look and see some of the points mentioned in this article. For Cardano, the implementation of Gogan will take smart contracts a step further to smarter contracts. While smart contracts eliminate the need for manual intervention for interactions on a particular blockchain, the Gogan mechanism will not prioritize ADA transactions and contracts over other tokens issued on Cardano, like Ethereum does for Ether over ERC20 tokens. Backed as Zimkanov, the communications and marketing director at Cardano, told Cointelegraph how the Gogan era will create use cases through decentralized applications. So he said that rather than being a single asset ledger, Cardano will become a multi-asset ledger that allows users to define, forge, and transfer their custom tokens on the network. The Gogan update will help developers build decentralized apps on Cardano's blockchain network with greater flexibility. And then he continued by saying, in the deployment of decentralized applications built on top of blockchain protocols, smart contracts become particularly useful. By virtue of their trustless nature, users can interface with Web 3.0 applications without entrusting their sensitive information to the app developer. And the developer or smart contract creator receives guaranteed and automatic settlement at the point of contract maturity. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, very exciting. You know, they're actually building Gogan in tandem with Shelly. So the team has actually been working on all of these iterations and all these milestones of the projects uh, simultaneously. So really interesting to see how quickly that they are moving now. And with all these developments happening, we're seeing a rise in community interest. You know, if we take a look, I'm seeing a whole bunch of viewers coming onto the channel to watch my videos. So big thank you to those of you who are new to the channel. Welcome. I really do appreciate all of your support. Definitely seeing a rise in community interest as well as on Twitter and other social media platforms. So it's incredible. It's uh, it's really taking hold. You know, we're seeing ADA also with the anticipation of a Coinbase listing with earning passive income by staking with Shelly. Uh, so many things to be excited for. It's incredible. So moving on, I wanted to go ahead and touch on some key points that were mentioned. Charles Hoskinson just recently did a whiteboard video where he highlighted some key points talking about Cardano's proof of stake protocol being more secure and decentralized than Bitcoin's proof of work. So I would recommend that you guys do check out that whiteboard video. It's about half an hour long. So if you do have some time, it's definitely worth paying attention to. Uh, I really learn a lot from watching Charles Hoskinson. But just to summarize and give you all some key points, uh, he's saying that, so you have guys like Jimmy Song and Tone Vase that say Bitcoin is so decentralized. Bitcoin is the best thing in the whole wide world. Mining is the only way and the truth. By the way, can you participate? Bitcoin is so decentralized. And you say, well, the people who maintain the system, they live outside the system. They are consuming a custom resource that's patented in private. It benefits tremendously from the price of electricity, and they got to have a lot of money to be able to play and participate. That doesn't sound to me like a decentralized system. And over time, you get increasingly more federated. So then he went on to say that Cardano being proof of stake is more secure and decentralized than Bitcoin. And to touch on the point that he mentioned earlier, you know, we're talking about barriers to entry. I was actually going through the process on the incentivized testnet 
of running the blockchain using a rock pi so for those of you who are unsure about what that is it's essentially a single board computer that's the size of a credit card one of these computers can actually run this proof of stake blockchain protocol uh, it would be really cool to see a rock pi being able to run this when we do see shelly on mainnet i actually saw a young man on twitter who managed to get one node running so really interesting, you know, you got your core block producing node and you've got your relays. So it's just a matter of figuring out how to uh, set that up. But uh, it would definitely be really cool to see that in action. So barriers to entry, you know, in terms of electricity, in terms of hardware costs, that's one big factor when it comes to actually being able to participate in something like Cardano as opposed to something like Bitcoin. So Charles later went on to talk more about the proof of stake protocol for Cardano saying that it requires a different resource than ASICs, the native token ADA. In contrast to Bitcoin, it is therefore independent of energy costs, no matter how much electricity costs in a country, and ADA always has the same value within the ecosystem. Moreover, as Hoskinson pointed out, Cardano does not need access to a privately patented resource. In fact, Cardano's proof of stake is comparable to the early days of Bitcoin. In addition, he said that there is no economy of scale either because IOHK designed the protocol to scale linearly and not to favor large owners. Furthermore, the network will grow as the ADA price rises and thus becomes more decentralized. All arguments put forward by Sunny and Tone Vays cannot be substantiated, he said. The proof of stake system is safe as long as no single entity has 50% plus one of all ADA. And even then, it would be in the interest of the entity that the system works because there is a financial incentive. So this, according to him, is what Bitcoin lacks, which is why the proof of stake is also safer, since Bitcoin miners don't necessarily have a financial incentive for a single blockchain. In case of a chain split of Bitcoin, miners can even benefit from it. So yeah, that's completely true. You know, If you think about a fork of Bitcoin, let's say Bitcoin Cash, for example, People who were initially mining Bitcoin, who were switching over to mine Bitcoin Cash, they are still incentivized for doing so. Very interesting to hear his thoughts. You know, he really did outline this very well, talking about that more in his whiteboard video. If you haven't already, I will be sure to link to that so you can check it out if you'd like to. And last little bit, I wanted to leave you all with here today. If you did stick around to the very end, thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your weekend so far. I know it's uh, pretty nice and sunny out here, gonna get a chance to enjoy this beautiful day, but I wanted to share my thoughts with you all regarding the price. So before I let you guys go, seeing Cardano moving up like this is a sight for sore eyes, especially <laughs> for those of you all who have been holding this project for a while. You know, we can see the Fibonacci levels being respected as we are making higher highs and higher lows here over the past few months. Back in March, we had that big capitulation event, that liquidity event that happened because of the virus. And we can see from then, we have been gradually marching upwards. And from where we are right now, we can see that the price is approximately around this 12, 13 cent level. You know, we're kind of consolidating here in this price range. We could anticipate a few more days of sideways action before possibly a break to the upside. Now consider also that there is a 50-50 chance with that. You know, we could break to the upside or the downside. You gotta be prepared for both scenarios. I'm not intending to claim that I know where the price is going to go in the near future, but just wanted to show you some key levels to look for. I would say that the next, probably the next key level of support that we could see is potentially 10 cents. You know, if we do get rejected from this area, I think 10 cents, big psychological level. It has also had significance in the past, being a key level of resistance. So 10 cents, I would expect to be a key level of support. And as far as resistance, you know, it seems like we could definitely break up to that 16 cents level pretty soon. And uh, after that, it's gonna be around about 20 cents. So yeah, price of Cardano looking great. Fantastic to see these higher highs and higher lows. Let me know what you guys think. I really do appreciate you watching. Are you guys stacking Cardano? Are you preparing for Shelly? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you guys. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like for me before you go. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. 
Take care.